Well, uh, morning, afternoon, everyone. Can't really see the screen. Uh, I've got 10 minutes, so I'm going to be very quickly he uh, quick here. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Ald. I'm the CEO of Serenus Energy. You should always read these disclaimers very carefully. Uh, Serenus is a, um, a two-asset oil and gas company. We have assets in Romania. Those are shallow gas assets. Uh, and we have assets in Tunisia, which are uh, largely oil uh, with some associated gas. Uh, at the end of July, we were producing about 2,100 barrels. Um, that was up from 317 barrels uh, the previous year. Uh, the Romanian production was 1,745 barrels, and the Tunisian uh, production was 365 uh, barrels, 56 barrels. Uh, the production in Tunisia is growing. We've, we've worked over four more wells, uh, and we're just working over a fifth right now. So those are uh, end of July when we put out our, our interim uh, financial statements numbers. We'll be coming out with uh, our third quarter numbers uh, on the 14th of November. Uh, and so we should be able to show another uh, fairly significant production increase then. Uh, we have 10.8 million barrels of uh, proved and probable reserves. Uh, and we have a very, very large land base in both of our asset regions. Uh, as I said, I'm the CEO of the company. Uh, we have uh, Calvin Brackman's here today as well, who's our Vice President of External Relations. Uh, and not here are the two presidents of our operating subsidiaries. Uh, philosophically, we run uh, our operating su subsidiaries uh, with Romanians running Romania uh, and Tunisians running Tunisia. Alexandra Jamashkan is a drilling engineer who's got a law degree and an MBA. She's very, very capable. And Haitham Ben Hassan is our president of Tunisia. Uh, and he is a facilities engineer. Uh, very quickly in Romania, we have uh, one block called the Satu Mare concession. Uh, it's about 3,000 square kilometers. We have what we call 100% deemed interest, uh, and that is because we had a partner default. Uh, that defaulted partner has not paid anything for five years, uh, but the government of Romania has yet to transfer that 40% equity interest to us. Uh, we pay 100% of the block, the parent company guarantees on the block are 100% and 100% of the revenue comes to us. Uh, so it's really very much of a, uh, an administration act for the government to allocate that 40% to us. Uh, this is low risk development in an existing, uh, an existing area. There's a bit of a confused slide. Um, that's the block, very large block. All those little gray lines are lines of 2D seismic, legacy 2D seismic. All those little black dots, if you can see them, those are uh, oil wells. And so what the Romanians did in the 70s, 80s, and 90s is that they would drill for oil. Uh, they would drill over balance through the shallower gas sections. They would lose a lot of fluids, uh, and they would proceed through to drill for oil. So we have a lot of well reports. We have a lot of well control sitting right on 2D seismic lines. Uh, and we have a lot of prospectivity in this block that sits uh, right above existing oil fields. Now, most of these are depleted oil fields. We don't go into old wells. We drill new wells ourselves. Uh, but there's lots of indications that there's lots more shallow gas than what we have. That rectangular blue area there, that is uh, a 3D seismic survey that we did uh, in the Moftino area. That is where we built our gas plant. Uh, three wells currently produced into the plant. The plant's 2.7 kilometers away from the uh, national grid. Uh, and it's a very shallow field. It's about 1,000 meters deep. So cheap drilling. Uh, the gas plant was about $7.8 million, has a 15 million barrel a day, uh, standard cubic feet a day uh, capacity. So you've got a very, very small capital package uh, for very nice returns. We sell our gas at uh, Romanian prices, which are uh, higher than, uh, than European prices, higher by about $2 an MCF right now. So it's a very, very good gas market, lots of demand. And as I say, we're nice and close to the, uh, to the trunk line. Uh, around the Moftino field, you can see there's the other blue shaded area down to the south. That is the Santal 3D uh, zone. Uh, we're looking there at some oil prospects. So there's oil on the block. As you can see, adjacent to us, you see the red blobs are the gas fields and the green blobs are the oil fields. The farther south you go in the block, the block it gets deeper uh, and it gets oilier. So for now, we're focusing right up against the Hungarian border on the shallow gas plays. Uh, but as we develop this, we will start looking uh, towards the Santau area for some of the oil plays. 
Tunisia is quite a bit different. Tunisia is an oil play. We have five assets, uh, five blocks in Tunisia. All of them are 100% except for Sabria. Sabria, if you see that big salt lake in the middle of Tunisia, Sabria is on the southern shore of that salt lake. Um, the two interesting blocks for us right now are the Sabria block, which is a big oil field. It was discovered in the 80s by Amoco. It was sold to Mole, and then a predecessor company of Serena's acquired it. No one has ever done very much work on this, so we, we have a very, very large undeveloped oil field there. And down in the south, we have the Shwesh and the Shwesh Asida uh, fields. Um, you can see the historic production there on the table in the middle of the page. This really does paint the picture for Tunisia. You can see in 2016, the production is 1,100 barrels a day, and then you can see in 2017, it goes, uh, it goes down sharply. That has wholly to do with the social situation in Tunisia. Uh, in 2016, um, we had 57 strikes in our Shwesh fields. These are, these are strikes for things like not having the right channels on your Sky TV package in the field. Um, these are strikes for things like not having more than three stakes a week. Um, we had a whole bunch of strikes, 57 in all. Uh, the pumps, there's barite crude, so we were losing downhole pumps as they would scale up when you had these strikes, uh, have them sitting idle for, periodic, for periods. So in February of 2017, we were forced to shut in the Shwesh field. Uh, also in 2017, the whole onshore oil uh, industry in Tunisia was shut in by strikes. So we've had a lot of social disruption. It's only very recently that we've been able to come to an agreement with the union and with the governor uh, in the south. And so we've managed to work over four wells in the Shwesh field, and those are, those are coming back on production. And as I say, we should be able to show some Good strong production growth uh, in our third quarter results. Sabria, when all of the onshore production in Tunisia was shut in, our Sabria field was shut in as well. Uh, and when it came back on stream, uh, some of the wells did not come back at the same level that they'd had pre-shut in. Uh, so we've been waiting on stability for us to do workovers, for us to do coil tubing jobs, remedial work in those wells to try to get those production back up again. But there's nothing there's no downhole issues that would prevent us from getting back to previous production levels. These are totally topside risk where we've had interruptions and blockages. Uh, I should have said in, in Romania, we sell our gas to VTOL. Uh, in Tunisia, we sell our crude to Shell. Our contract means that we get paid 80% upon delivery and then 20% upon lifting. As you can see, when we're producing 360-ish barrels a day, we're not bringing VLCCs in to, to lift the crude. So we have this contract to give us some cash up front to smooth the cash flow so we don't have to wait for the big liftings. Uh, so we get, 80, as I say, 80% upon delivery, uh, and then we get the last 20% when, uh, when Shell does a lifting. We sell our gas, our associated gas in Tunisia, to Steg, who is the uh, government gas company. Uh, and so in both cases, we have... I wouldn't say no counterparty credit risk. Um, uh, certainly we have some with Steg, and you can debate whether we have any with Shell. Like I said, Sabria is a very, very large field. It's got 358 million barrels of, of P50 oil initially in place. Uh, and if you look at that little table on the right, um, it's got 1.2% recovery factor so far. It's got six wells producing in this field. It has no artificial lift. It has no pressure support, no water injection. So it's a field that has been starved of capital for, for any number of reasons. For Amico, it wasn't too big. For Mole, it just wasn't a focus. For the predecessor companies of Serenus, there was no capital. So I'd like to see a situation where our organic cash flow can be allocated to this to start to grow it again, to start to do some proper block and tackling on an oil field. Uh, and then in Shwesh, we have uh, a whole bunch of opportunities that we can pursue, but again, these really depend on the stability of, of the social situation. In Shwesh, we are way down far south in, in the desert. It, it is completely sand dunes. Uh, we have Algeria on one side and Libya on the other side, and uh, a military base right next to our uh, Shwesh uh, platform. Um, that's mostly because of smuggling, not because of terrorists, but we get a lot of smugglers running through the region. 
uh, and we get to see lots of drones. I don't know if they're American, British, French, but um, they do patrol with lots of drones around our oil field. So uh, it's either the best place to buy cheap cigarettes or you're really, really secure. Um, I think I have a minute left. So uh, very quickly, this year we are doing some 3D uh, in Romania in the Breveni area. That was the area to the north of our existing uh, gas field. We'll also be drilling the Moftino 1000 well, which will be an infill well into the field to give us some more production and some more reserves for the gas plant. Uh, and we would hope by uh, the end of, so probably the end of the third quarter next year, we'd be in position to drill another discovery or another exploration well hoping for a discovery that could uh, could lead us to our second gas plant. Uh, in Tunisia, we are continuing the ramp up uh, in the Shwesh and the Shwesh Asada fields. Um, we plan to re-enter uh, an old well that was uh, that was damaged upon completion when it was drilled by, uh, uh, by Amoco so long ago. Uh, that's 350 meters north of, a, of one of our good producers, so we think we can re-enter that and re-complete that. And then we're going to add some pumps. For the first time ever, we'll add some artificial lift to some of the Sabria wells. Um, and that, uh, I think, is my time.